In this video, we're covering the installation of Insignia's second generation rectangular shower cabin. Leveling the tray is literally the first step in the build of your shower and it's incredibly important this is done before anything else. To level the tray, push it into its final resting position, then use a spirit level and see where the bubble sits. If it sits in between the two lines, perfect. If not, what you need to do is to lift the tray up onto its side and change the elevation of the adjustable feet by either screwing them in or unscrewing them. Lock this new height into position by tightening the nuts on each feet you've changed and then push the tray back into its final resting position. Once again, use the spirit level and see how level your tray is now. Keep repeating this process until your tray is completely level. Once it is, you're ready to start the build. If you have a steam shower, use a drill and the drill bit provided to drill out the spigot in the side of the waste. This may have already been done, but it is always best to check. To fit the waste, take the chrome cap out and unscrew the inner part of the waste. Take the main body of the waste and the rubber seal and place it under the tray. Then screw the inner part of the waste in from above. For ease, lift the tray up onto its side so you aren't hampered by the floor. We advise to add plumber's mate around the inside edge of the waste to create a more watertight seal. To apply the rubber gum, firstly, open the rubber gum and trim off the required amount for the raised sections of the tray. You can use a knife, or if you find it easier, scissors. Place rubber gum face down on the raised sections, then remove the greaseproof paper and you're done. It's as easy as that. Retrieve the riser rail from the accessories box and slide the chrome cap off by pushing upwards. Place the base of the riser rail through the hole in the back panel and secure with a large 15mm nut. Then, get a small nut and bolt and secure the top of the riser rail into position. Replace the chrome cap to complete the install. To fit the glass shelf, first retrieve one of the chrome finished shelf brackets. This will fit on the inside of the shower with a bolt and rubber washer. Screw the white threaded grub screw into the base of the chrome bracket. Do not screw it all the way in, just enough so it doesn't fall out. We will tighten this later when securing the glass shelf. Place the bolt through the bracket and place the rubber washer on the other side. Now locate a second rubber washer, a metal washer and a nut. These go on the rear of the shower to secure the bracket in position. Now insert this through the hole in the back panel and place the rubber washer, metal washer then the nut on the rear of the panel to secure into position. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten. Repeat this process for the other side. Now with both brackets fitted, slide the glass shelf into the brackets and tighten the white grub screw using a flat headed screwdriver. Lift the left side panel and the left back panel into position. The left back panel is the one with the riser rail. Push the panels together and find the pre-drilled holes and align. Screw together using six screws. Slot the left corner upright onto the side panel and push it down into the tray. Use the drill bit to create three holes and then connect using three screws. When connecting the framework, it's important to know which rail is which. The top rail is longer from top to bottom and the bottom rail is shorter. 
The top rail also has a square 90 degree edge, whilst the bottom rail has a curved 90 degree edge. On the bottom rail, the curved 90 degree edge faces down and sits in the tray. On the top rail, the square 90 degree edge also faces down. It's important to note the left upright is thicker and has a channeled recess for the door magnet. This must be installed in this orientation. Slot the uprights onto the bottom rail and the top rail onto the uprights. Once connected, slot the securing clips into the framework to lock it all together. Lift the framework into position and slot it into the left corner upright. Once aligned, screw it securely in place using three screws. Lift the column into position and connect to the install back panel using six wing nuts. Place the right corner upright onto the framework and push it down so it sits in the tray. Screw into position. Slide the side panel into the right corner upright and push it down into the tray. Use the drill bit to create three holes and screw it together using three screws. Place the right back panel into position. Once aligned, screw it into the side panel using six screws and connect it to the column using six wing nuts. Slide the door magnet into the recess in the left upright. Trim away any excess at the top. Screw the roof into position from the rear using four screws. To fit the front fixed glass, lift and place onto the inner ridge of the bottom rail and slide into the channel in the upright. Ensure you fit the glass tight into the framework. It's important to have two people to do this to ensure the glass is securely in the frame whilst you fix into position. To fix into position, take the thin upright profile and slot it over the glass and secure it by screwing into the top rail and into the bottom rail. With the fixed glass rib seals, take the 7mm rib seal and insert between the front fixed glass and the inner upright profile. Insert this on the inside of the shower. You should be able to slot this in tightly with your hands, but if you need assistance, use a flat headed screwdriver. Next, take the 12mm rib seal and insert between the front fixed glass and the outer upright profile. Again, insert this on the inside of the shower and use a flat headed screwdriver to assist if required. 
Do this for both front fixed glass panels. To fit the door stops, follow the orientation of the curve of the door stops as shown. Screw all door stops into position. To fit the door handles, simply unscrew the two small circular inner handles to separate the pieces. This will leave you with the main door handle body, two round metal caps for the back of the body, four rubber washers and the threaded circular inner handles. You place a rubber washer on either side of the glass, the metal caps on the main body of the handle and then screw the inner circular handles to secure the door handle in place. The main handle should fit the exterior of the door. Do this for both doors. There are two types of wheels in your pack, one spring loaded with a push button and one without. The wheels with the push button are for the bottom of the door and the wheels without for the top. On the back of the wheels there is a screw holding it all together. Remove the screw to reveal four parts your back plate, two rubber spacers and the main body of the wheel. To fit, place the body of the wheel and a rubber spacer on the outside of the door, with the other rubber spacer and the back plate on the inside of the door, then secure all in place with the screw. To fit the doors, simply feed the top door wheels into the top rail and let the door hang in position. Then, press the push button on the bottom door wheels to pop them into the bottom rail. Do this for both doors and you should have an easy glide operation. If it is not gliding easily, double check all door wheels are in the channels and they have been fitted correctly. Ensure the door magnets meet and snap together. If they don't, rotate the seal as shown. Push onto the door and ensure it meets the magnet in the upright. Now, take the seal with a flap and place it on the rear of the door. With the water connections, the body jets are connected but it is very important to check all Jubilee clips are tight as they are only connected for transportation purposes. You will have two rubber washers cable tied to the back of the valve. One is for the hand shower and one is for the overhead monsoon rain shower. Insert the washers into the brass threaded connectors and screw into the water feature. The shorter hose coming horizontally from the side of the valve is for the hand shower and the longer hose coming vertically from the top of the valve is for the monsoon rain shower. Tighten up with pump pliers until watertight. Do not over tighten. Check the Jubilee clips are in position over the hose and on the brass connections. Ensure they are tight and secure on both the hand shower and the monsoon rain shower. Locate the wires on the roof for the respective outputs and connect together by using the corresponding marking on the wires from the control panel. To connect the waste hose, simply screw it onto the waste outlet under the tray. Ensure that the rubber seal sits into the waste before screwing it up. Push the PVC hose onto the waste spigot and tighten in place using the Jubilee clip.
connect the threaded connector to the underside of the tray. Then connect the 90 degree elbow to the threaded piece behind the column. Position appropriately and connect the PVC hose from the base of the steam generator. If you wish to trim this hose for ease, go ahead, but be careful not to make it too short. Once connected, tighten in place with the Jubilee clip. When it comes to installing the electrics, full electrical bathroom compliance must be used in all situations. In this video, we have just plugged it into an extension lead for demonstration purposes only. If the light on your RCD isn't lit, press the button to reset the power. Now to remove any excess rubber gum from under the back panels, column or framework. Once the shower build is complete, you may notice some rubber gum protruding from these three items. To create a clean aesthetic finish, simply take a knife and make a cut down the edge closest to the panel, column or framework. Then simply pull away the excess, leaving you a neat and tidy finish. Use a sharp clean blade for a nice clean cut. Failure to do this may cause snagging on the rubber gum, leaving a rough, uneven finish. Push the shower back into its final resting position. Always push from the base, never from the glass or framework. For those with a platinum shower, insert your floor and stool. And that's our video. If there's any other how-to content you want to see, let us know in the comments section below. And to stay up to date with all of our video content, give us a subscribe.